This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, sitting in for Alex today. And he will be back with you tomorrow. And in the meantime, we've got a whirlwind of breaking news from all fronts and some very interesting guests coming up on today's show. We'll be with you for the next three hours. And here's some of what's coming up, and then we're going to get right into the news. We've got guests joining us today, Stacy Malkin from Proposition 37 in California. That is the proposition that is uh, attempting to require GMOs to be labeled on foods so that consumers can choose not to eat poison. <laughs> yes, wouldn't that be a nice choice to have? But of course, the food industry is lining up against that proposition, and we'll talk about whether that's likely to pass. And then we've got Anthony Gucciardi from Natural Society joining us today with some breaking news from scientists who support GMOs. Yes, they've sent us emails now that say they know GMOs are killing you. That's what they want. That's the goal. And this is openly admitted by a member of the scientific community. We'll have that email and those details breaking right here on the Alex Jones Show in the second hour today. Then in the third hour, Ted Anderson is going to be dropping by just for a bit. And then after that, we're going to get into how to protect yourself from radiation poisoning in case Fukushima gets worse or in case there's another nuclear disaster somewhere in the world, which could happen. Lots of causes behind it. So we'll get into that. Also, how to protect yourself from MSG. Yeah, monosodium glutamate, also sometimes in the form of free glutamate in your foods. It's an excitotoxin. You've heard guests like Dr. Russell Blaylock, a neurosurgeon, right here on the Alex Jones Show, talking about the toxicity of MSG. But no one's ever been able to really describe how to protect yourself from MSG. But some interesting new research has come out that I'm going to cover in the third hour that has a lot of promise for how to protect yourself from MSG with a supplement. And we'll talk about that. Plus, also today, we've got news about... Motorists being detained for paying cash at toll booths. Yeah, cash is now something that makes you a criminal. We've got children, young, a young girl, I think eight years old with ovarian cancer. News about painkillers causing headaches. So it's a cycle of addiction. Once you take the painkiller, you get a headache, you need more painkillers. Gee, I wonder who designed that system. Big Pharma, maybe? We've got news about a new desktop fabrication machine, a desktop replicator that can actually produce physical objects just like printing out pages on a bubble jet printer. It's just been announced and I'm going to talk to you, uh, share with you some of the implications of that technology and what it means for our economy and our world. It's a bigger deal than you might suspect just from hearing the headline. UK hospitals are on the verge, <clears throat> excuse me, of collapse uh, as socialized medicine fails. Prescription painkillers are now killing more Americans than heroin and cocaine combined. Yeah, prescription drugs are the big killers. And by the way, I'm just breezing through these right now. We'll get these in more detail when we return uh, on the other side of the break that's coming up. Attack of the drones, the US Army wants miniature suicidal drones, kamikaze drones. They're single use drones that can kill you from six miles away. They launch those suckers and just drive them right into your front door or bedroom window whatever the target happens to be. Here, here's some news. You know the warrantless DNA collection that's been going on in the police state here? The court of California is now going to reconsider whether that is allowed based on new findings that say there's no such thing as junk DNA. Most of your DNA has been described as, quote, junk DNA, but it turns out that DNA may be able to uh, describe traits, and they can learn a lot of things about you by collecting that DNA without using a warrant. So that's being challenged. In New Jersey, there are attempts to strip parental rights over vaccine exemptions. They don't want you to have a choice. They don't want you to be able to say no. And we get the morning after pills being given out to students without parents' consent. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't 
doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. We'll take your calls in the third hour on just about any topic that you'd like to talk about. In the meantime, here's what's coming up today. We've got Stacy Malkin, a spokesperson for Proposition 37 in California, joining us at the bottom of this hour. That is the proposition, of course, that talks about uh, requiring GMO labeling on foods in California and has nationwide implications. We've also got Anthony Gucci already coming up in the second hour with breaking news about GMO scientists admitting that they really do want to kill people and cause infertility. And that, hey, the fewer people that are left standing after all the GMOs are dispensed and, and fed to you, uh, the better we all are, according to these scientists. So it's not even really a question about uh, whether GMOs are in fact dangerous or if they cause these cancer tumors, as has been shown in recent studies. It's actually true that the scientists want you to die. So we'll talk about that. It's incredible. Nothing, nothing shocks me anymore because they, they literally just want to kill humanity. It's an anti-human technology. We'll get into that. The news is coming up, by the way. But first, uh, in the third hour, also, we've got Ted Anderson joining us and then some great news about how to protect yourself from radiation and from MSG. So let's get right into the news. Uh, Bill Clinton says no president could have magically fixed the economy in one term. I guess he's now an Obama apologist. Is that it? Well, of course you can't fix the economy in one term if you're a global bankster sellout. Um, and anybody who expects Romney to fix the economy is oh, living in a dreamland as well. Senate votes to shield U.S. airlines from EU's carbon scheme. That should be an interesting battle over uh, whether U.S. airlines can actually be charged money for emitting carbon dioxide, an extra carbon dioxide tax. That's coming in many forms all across America and around the world. Uh, here's what else is coming up. Obama says he's blocking out the Israeli noise. Yeah, it's just noise. Don't worry about uh, the possibility of nuclear war over there and, and, and Iran uh, and Syria and everything that's going on. It's, it's just noise. So go back to sleep, Americans, and uh, vote for more hope and more change because I guess we haven't had enough hope in the last four years. We need yet more hope. <laughs> we do need some change, that, that is for sure, but uh, uh, okay, moving on. Court rules motorists can be detained for paying by cash at toll booths. So this is a big deal. Paul Joseph Watson article up right now at Infowars.com. The 11th Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals has ruled that private contractors operating toll booths have the power to detain and store records on motorists, that is detain motorists, in other words, arrest them who pay by cash at toll booths. So uh, it's cash is now the great evil. Do you see where this is going? If you use cash, it's evil. Now, this particular motorist was he was trying to pay with it looks like a fifty dollar bill or maybe a hundred dollar bill, something larger than a 20. And they said, well, we can't take that. Those large bills are evil. And so they detained him. They they essentially arrested him. This is in addition to another case that happened recently when a Walmart cashier ripped up the $100 bill of a customer there trying to uh, prove that it was counterfeit, but it wasn't. It was a real $100 bill. And then the police were called and Walmart was ordered to replace the $100 bill that they ripped up. You see where this is? So those of us who use cash, which includes myself, by the way, I use cash everywhere. I frequently use $100 bills, frequently use $50 bills, and uh, I've never had a problem with it, but I, haven't, I don't shop at Walmart and I don't go through these tollways, so uh, maybe when I do that, I'm gonna be arrested. But the point is, they wanna make you think you're a criminal for using cash. Just carrying cash is, is now described as being a criminal. 
See, they want you to all use electronic money because it's trackable, because it's traceable. The evil of cash that's being propagandized out there is because cash is anonymous. Cash is untraceable. Cash is the currency of, well, <laughs> freedom in a sense. That and uh, Bitcoin, of course. Uh, moving on. Oh, yeah, here's another co coverage of that at 10 News. Uh, same story, motorist. It, it's getting coverage in the mainstream media. In fact, I'm told we have a, a short video clip on that. Let's roll that and see what the video shows us. Their initial response was there is no policy to do this, which really made me concerned because it, it appeared that they were just individual rogue toll booth workers that were, you know, detaining people. But the practice continued at toll booth after toll booth. And if someone refused to provide the information, they were threatened with arrest. I can call FHP and they can come here and give you that information. Would you like for me to do that? You see how they're criminalizing you. They're, they are arresting you for paying with legal tender that is is marked as the currency of the, well, the Federal Reserve. <laughs> I guess that's another story. Um, but hey, if they're going to accept uh, counterfeit $1 bills from the Fed and counterfeit $5 bills, or fiat currency is what I mean, then they should accept key, uh, fiat $100 bills. Uh, you know, so this... Again, it's the criminalization of everything that's normal in America today. So uh, are you exercising free speech? Are you, are you protesting somewhere out in public? You're a criminal. There's, I was talking to Dan Badandi out, out uh, here in, during the break, and he was talking about how they're trying to just film in a public place, and they're always threatened with, uh, by the, the, the cops and the security people. They're threatened to say, you can't film here. Why? Oh, because we say so. Because you're a criminal for filming here. Yeah, you're a member of the press, but you're a criminal. So if you use cash, if you uh, drink raw milk, let's say, if you're a farmer, if you film in public, in, in filming something they don't want you to film, all of a sudden you're a criminal. This is it. This is the mass criminalization of America underway, and they're going to force everybody into using their currency-controlled electronic systems, the RFID chips embedded in your palm or in your arm or, or electronic wallets. That's where it's all going. So check out that story at Infowars.com. Let's move on. Painkillers are the cause of millions of headaches. This has come out from a, a new study. This is published in BBC News as well. Uh, uh, this is that vicious cycle. You know, a lot of drugs actually cause the very things that they claim to prevent. For example, we know that many drugs that claim to treat osteoporosis actually cause fragile bones. Many drugs that claim to treat inflammation actually cause inflammation. Diabetes drugs cause long-term diabetes. And uh, psychiatric drugs also cause diabetes. But painkillers cause headaches. All right, you got that? This is the scam. Uh, chemotherapy causes cancer. It's the number one side effect of chemotherapy. Mammograms cause cancer. They emit ionizing radiation. They irradiate the lungs and the liver and the heart and the breast tissue. Mammograms cause cancer. That's why the cancer industry loves to push mammograms because it's a repeat business gimmick. It's a scam. It's a, it's a crime against women, if you ask me. But anyway, this is all coming out. Painkillers cause headaches. I think just reading the financial news causes headaches. It makes you want to take some painkillers. Uh, of course, we don't do that around here. <laughs> Medication free for over a decade. That's true. Uh, in fact, I haven't had vaccines for, I don't know, I don't, a dozen years, something like that. I mean, when I was a kid, I got vaccines because I just didn't know any better. But uh, I haven't had vaccines for as long as I can remember, and I never get sick. So go figure. All right. Here, check this out. The Replicator 2 has just been announced by MakerBot.com. And... I know this probably sounds like a plug for them, but it's really a news item. Here, here's why this matters. The Replicator is a desktop 3D printer. It's a fabrication device that sits on your desk, and it literally prints 3D objects using strings of basically a type of plastic. It makes hard plastic items. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, think about the current economy. You run to Walmart and you buy all your little plastic gadgets and items that are imported from China and manufactured in a manufacturing facility. If this replicator technology takes off, and I believe it will, the economy is going to shift in the next decade in a big way. Instead of buying objects at stores like Walmart or even Home Depot, you're going to be printing the objects that you need. You're going to be buying just the raw material. 
And eventually, I think they'll have metallic printing devices. You can print metal objects, like you can print your own gears. You can print your own wrenches and tools and things like that. This will shift the entire global economy, and I want to be on the record right here making this prediction. Manufacturing is going to become decentralized and local right to your desktop. This technology is here right now. It's going to get even more advanced in the years ahead. Alex Jones here with a message that could revolutionize health in this country. Going back about a year and a half ago, I began to learn about the incredible health effects of Longevity products. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. We're going to show you some before and afters. Aaron, break down what happened, your story. I've worked really hard with diet and exercise to try to lose weight, but I just didn't get the results. It just didn't happen. Then I saw what you were doing with InfoWarsTeam.com. I wasn't even trying to lose weight, but I got it because I wanted to feel better energy. I wanted that nutrition. Didn't even understand how that could kickstart my own weight loss goals, but the products did that for me. I found myself suddenly losing weight, more energetic, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat the right foods. And they don't even advertise it as weight loss. I want to challenge our radio listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com, sign up as a distributor, and get wholesale pricing discounts at InfoWarsTeam.com. And this is The Alex Jones Show. Mike Adams sitting in here. And as proof that this is The Alex Jones Show, we've got Alex joining us by phone with some comments on this criminalization of cash at tollways. Alex, can you hear me okay? Yes, Mike. Uh, I'm coming in today uh, just to do a special report on this for the nightly news. It's such a gigantic issue uh, that I was at a coffee shop, a chain coffee shop I probably shouldn't have been in, uh, just a few weeks ago and bought like $25 worth of stuff and they tried to not take my 50 and called the manager and acted like I was a criminal. Uh, of course, Walmarts rip up your money now if you try to use cash. They're arresting people that use $2 bills. They're arresting people that even show people silver coins. Um, they are now arresting people nationwide that write political slogans with chalk on the sidewalk. They're now arresting people nationwide to film police in public. They're now calling the police on my crew when they're on major streets in Austin in suits videotaping. We are not a free country. The last vestiges are being removed. But in that report out of Florida, people paying with cash with $5 are having the police called on them. And people are being held by the little bureaucrats. People should just shut their car down there and just block the whole tow road. Uh, we've discovered toll roads run by foreign companies like Centra are actually buying up hundreds of newspapers just here in Texas, hundreds, over 200, and actually running mayors and people and taking over the towns. We are wide open. We've been infiltrated by criminal corporate interests, and it's time to say no, hell no. And when you look at the fact that in California and now New Jersey, they're injecting children without parental consent, they're giving them morning after pills, without parental consent or taking them for abortions without parental consent. Uh, and they're now announcing they want to just force shots on us. This is a lawless group of criminals trying to break our will. And here's the thing for all the idiots that say, well, I'll just pay with a credit card. What do I have to hide? Once they have you with pure digital money, they can deny you buying and selling if you're not a good globalist. And they've said they'll do that. And here's the final key, and I want to get back to news. So you have breaking news coming up. They can also, like Bank of America wanted to do, charge you up to $5 just to use uh, your own money. Folks, you're going to be paying to use money now, not just getting 0% interest at the banks. This is a systematic takeover. Again, hundreds of studies showing GMOs cause sterilization because they're designed to, and all these top scientists from GMO companies constantly brag, as Mike was pointing out, he has proof coming up, when they say, hey, this is sterilizing all the rats, they go, yeah, what do you think we're doing? They're, they're, they're backdooring all this tech with these traits into the food. We're dead already. You're in a sci-fi horror movie. It's hardcore beyond belief. Most people are in a zombie state. You're not going to reach them. Most people are power-tripping, brain-damaged minions who have been given their, 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 their little brainwashed role template they follow. You are in a science fiction movie, people. It's 2012. We are under attack. Our own species has a subgroup that thinks that they're a separate species in their own words and that we're animals to be killed. They're murdering you and your family. You're all being poisoned. I'm sorry, Mike, I've been off. 
No, it's good. I'm off three days, and I'm chomping at the bit. <laughs> I'm coming in to, to, to do a special report. God bless you, my friend. Get back to all your news. I know you got... Info, no, stay, you, stay on, Al. Stay on. I got a question for you. The other thing about this not uh, accepting cash at toll booths is when you use electronic payment systems, they, they know where you are and they know you're not at home. That way, you know how the prison, they want to fill the prisons because the corporations own the prisons and produce the products now. They can simply go to your home when, when they know you're not there, plant drugs there, have you arrested, and they can arrange all of exactly, this. Exactly. Look at how they're shutting down Right. Louisiana is criminalized using cash and secondhand sales. We are prisoners. We have been captured. We are prisoners. We have been captured. Mayday. 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 God bless you, Mike. Keep it up. Thank you for coming in. You're the best. All right. Thank you, Alex. Well, nobody says it like Alex Jones, folks. Um, it's, you know, it, it, it is, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to overstate the the degree of tyranny that we are under the the degree of oppression that we are living under here and you know uh, alex is right i mean that's why his his attitude is so effective here on the show and why he has so many fans and listeners because you know this this is something that we should be screaming about this is insane what's going on in our world how we're being poisoned by our food poisoned by the quote scientific vaccines how we're being criminalized for using cash criminalized for exercising free speech writing things online that the establishment doesn't like uh, posting things on Facebook that get you arrested and thrown in a mental institution he's right to scream about it there's no calm way to really present the truth okay that's the bottom line visit infowars.com and prisonplanet.com when you're on the site you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast there's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want mm -hmm.